Uh, I'm from e Trucks right here in Penrose. We've been working with um, XEMG, our key supplier, uh, since 2008, and yep. they started doing electric stuff in 2018, so we spun e Trucks off. Well, talk me through it. What, what, what have we got here? We've got a four ton yeah, excavator? Yeah, exactly, exactly that, four ton fully electric excavator. This one's uh, about 70 kilowatt hours. Yep. Uh, five to six hours runtime, doing normal work. We've got a couple of them operating in New Zealand, one at Isaacs down at Christchurch and one at United um, up in the Whangarei. Are you allowed to tell me what the capital damage is on one of these? Uh, yeah, they're about um, 190 at the moment, yep. 190,000, depends on the exchange rate a yep. little bit, but about 190 for one of these. There's quite a there's quite a price um, gap between these and a, a, diesel, a diesel one. A diesel one will be around about 60 to 70 with all the spec. This has got a lot of um, pump, piping and stuff on it, as you yep. can see. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's quite a gap in this size machine. It's got everything you need um, for an EV machine, but just compressed down and that increases the cost. So yes. It's the bigger machines where the, the price delta price. gets better. Yep. So. Tell us about this pretty cool looking loaders. Yeah, this is a six tonner. Um, we've got a few of these running around New Zealand now. We've got 14 EV wheel loaders totally running in New Zealand. Yep. Another one on its way. One of them is a hybrid, so it's got an onboard generator yep. working in the Kangaroo. Yep. Uh, this is the smallest, six ton, and we go up to 23 ton. And you've probably got a few little different differences in behaviour that you have to work through, sure. obviously, right? But well, they, they were saying that 20 ton uh, loader would last like a, a nine hour shift or something, yep. which is how long if someone actually Absolutely. has a shift for, so it works out perfectly. 